right, so what you just saw there was a little preview of what exactly the brand is and the style I'm shooting for. The video there was made by my friend Sebastian and I a few weeks ago, and we just had a little bit of free time, so went out and made a short little clip like that. But honestly, every time I watch that, it gives me the chills and gets me stoked to work even more on this brand. So I hope you enjoyed it, and let's get to explaining exactly what the brand is, and I'll show you everything I've done so far. Okay, so I'm sure you guys have seen my new brand, Street Level Supply. Um, it's not new to me personally, I've been working on it for two years, but I just opened the website to the public now, and I have hats and shirts for sale. And I want to give you a little bit of a rundown on what exactly the company is. So I've been working on it for about two years now. I started out just drawing logos, kind of bored in class, wanted to make something out of um, out of it. So I came up with Street Level, uh, made a few logos in pencil. I moved over to Illustrator, taught myself how to make those logos in that program, and that helped out a lot to make it look more, more professional and more um, refined. All right, so a big part of owning a company or a brand is uh, making decals. And these guys here, I actually started out by getting a price quote from a company, and I know they wanted to charge them like 250 bucks for 200 stickers or decals, which was kind of absurd. So honestly, me being myself, I like to learn and do things on my own. So I went out and bought a Silhouette Cameo, or Cameo, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's this little, this little machine here. It's like it's about 15 inches wide. Um, it has a little, little blade here, and the vinyl comes in these rolls up here. And that feeds into the machine and it will cut out the sticker, the decals and then you just peel out the outer layer and anything on the inside of the decal and then after that you will lay a clear um, vinyl over that to transfer onto other paper. But yeah, I taught myself how to do these. Um, it pays off it pays off a lot in the end because that machine there costs about 200 bucks and it comes to the program and it just links up to your computer. You can drag things over from uh, Illustrator and basically just test out the cut and stuff like that. But Definitely recommend that because that saved me a lot of money. Uh, does take more time to make the stickers on your own, uh, but while you're small, I recommend doing it on your own, obviously. All right, so I'm gonna just show you guys a few of my hats really fast. Um, okay, I'm sitting right back here. So, so up first we have the, I'm gonna get these separated. We've got the unstructured or the dad hats right here so I st I've got black with white logo uh, I've got white with the black logo and unfortunately I ran out of the pink with the white logo already so I'll be ordering more of those eventually um, then we have the snapbacks I get a maroon with the black script logo got black with white logo I've also got black with a metallic gold logo kind of see it there it's kind of shiny I like that hat a lot that was the, one of the originals right there and yeah, so these are the few hats I make right now. Um, I'm thinking of making maybe a few more colorways eventually uh, as we move on. Uh, I switched up a little bit and I'll definitely have more shirts out. Uh, thinking about doing lanyards. Um, anything that seems cool. Okay, so here is my website, which I said uh, streetlevelsupply.com. Uh, when you first pop up here, it's going to see the home page. And then as we scroll down, you're gonna see a few pictures here of us modeling the clothing. And we're gonna go down, details there. We have a catalog button right here and also at the top here. Um, click in there. And then product's gonna show up first. Uh, we got, this is my long shirt here. Uh, we got the script snapbacks, the script standard, the decals right there a vintage shirt and then the unstructured or the dad hats which are very popular right now so uh, I'm going here and check out the colors um, a few of these items have sold out already so I need to order more but that will be happening soon so one of the biggest things about my brand street level supply is I personally will not sell anything that I won't wear so everything has been very meticulously gone through and perfected uh, my logos are always changing. I'm always editing logos. Uh, this one right here has changed so much since I first started that I can't even begin to start there. Um, I'm always improving, always, always learning, always making things better. That's the main point here. And I like to say that I focus on the details within simplicity. So everything I've been making right now is pretty modern looking. It's very simple. The colorways are very, very. Um, 
more modern, I would say, urban things. Uh, that's just more of my style. I've been trying to find a brand that that I I prefer, and honestly, this brand I made here is is a lot of fun to make, and I've been just trying to push in my style, and also combine, as you know, I'm in the car scene, I try to combine the, the designs I like within cars into my brand uh, without actually putting cars in or on any of the shirts or hats. Um, I like to keep it as, what would you say, legit as possible. All right, so thanks for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Be sure to follow me on my social media um, for myself and the brand. I'll have my Snapchat on there if you want to see behind the scenes of myself, my car, my brand, anything like that. We post it on there. Um, kind of Snapchat crazy, so be sure to add me on that. Um, please check out the website. Let me know what you like, uh, any improvements you can make, things you would like to see. Uh, and I appreciate you checking out this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.